Hi folks, there's a region in western China known as Xinjiang and this region at one time was heavily populated by an ethnic group called Uyghurs who were basically uh, of the Muslim religion and they had a different culture and language than the rest of China. Well when the commies took over China they moved into the region and told them hey you're part of commie land now and to dilute the Uyghurs population there they incentivized Han Chinese to move into the area to the point now the Uyghurs are a minority population in their own region and the commies are doing what commies do best. They're suppressing the religion, they're suppressing the language, they're suppressing the culture. That's what commies do kids, suppress. So now that has caused the Uyghurs to engage in violence, some of them, as well as some leave the region, not only the region but the country. Well, when they leave the country, a lot of them go to surrounding Asian nations, specifically nine Asian nations. And the commies twist the arms of those nine Asian nations and say, you better turn those Uyghurs back to us because they're terrorists. See? A terrorist to the commies means if you disagree with the commies, you're a terrorist. That's what they say, kids. So these nine Asian nations, they cooperate with the arm twisting from the thug gangsters in Beijing, the commies. They turn the Uyghurs back over to them. No problem. They acquiesce. They submit to the thuggery gangster behavior of commies in addition to validating that behavior. Let me give you two examples. But there's this hovel of one of those nations called Gaz... <laughs> Kazakhstan, something like that. They had one of the Uyghurs in the country and they were going to send that Uyghur to Sweden because Sweden says we'll take him, no problem. So they take the guy to the airport and they put him on a chartered plane and you know where that chartered plane went to? No, not to Sweden. Uh -uh. It went to the Middle Kingdom, Beijing, Kamiland, Kamiland, China because the Kazakhstan authorities acquiesced to the pressure from the commies. So now <clears throat> this person as well as the other Uyghurs that have been raped and sent back to China, guess what? They disappeared. They turned the middle kingdom into the magic kingdom. Disappeared says I, says them. They, they never heard from again. Maybe they're having their organs uh, uh, processed. Maybe they're in slave labor camps. They're in prisons. They're being tortured. But they're not heard from again. Thank you, nine Asian nations. The nation of Cambodia. They had about 20 Uyghurs. And the commie said, Why, well, you better turn them over to us. They're terrorists. So the Cambodians, being weak kneed cowards that they are, they said, Sure, here are the 20. When they turned the 20 over, the communist in appreciation gave Cambodia 1.2 billion dollars. Was that a bounty that they paid? You see, when you betray fellow human beings and you acquiesce to commies, you get paid rather well. But let me tell you something. Today they're coming after the Uyghurs. Tomorrow they're coming after you in those nine uh, Asian countries. That's right. One by one by one by one, you're going to succumb to the commies in Beijing. And the rest of us are going to stand on the sidelines point and laugh and say you deserve it. Like the Chinese say themselves, you lie down with dogs, you wake up with fleas. In this case, those nine Asian nations, you lie down with those dogs, you wake up with commies. That's it kids, commies you wake up to. Alright, and to the poor uh, Uyghur people in Xinjiang or wherever you are, it's rather, it, it's, it, it's a horrible situation you're being suppressed under. That they have those other countries Add to the misery. It's disgusting. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. There's always that payback. And hopefully we'll live to see it. We'll see you folks. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. And to the Uyghur people, freedom loving people around the world, our hearts are with you. We only wish we can do more. See ya.